Hey YouTube, it's Ashley, back again with another thrift haul. And if my hair looks like kind of a mess, it's because I braided it this morning while it was wet and I've just been uh, cleaning my room most of the day in little bits and pieces. So, um, to be honest, looking at myself in the viewfinder is probably the first time I've looked in the mirror today, if that counts as looking in the mirror. So, it doesn't look too bad from what I can see in the viewfinder, but... It may be a mess, so this is real life for me. <laughs> um, I'm just going to show you some items that I picked up at Savers. I did get 10% off because I had donated, and the way it works at most of the Savers locations around where I live is when you bring in bags, they give you a stamp for every bag that you bring in, and I think it starts at 5%. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 for each bag uh, that you donate. So this time I just had two big bags. Usually when I bring in like larger bags, they give me like two stamps for each bag, which is great. Um, this time they didn't, they just gave me one stamp for each bag, which was still fine. I only got a couple of things tonight. Well, more than a couple, but still like a small amount of things. So um, I just used the 10% off instead of the 20% off, which I also have from another time that I donated. So, let me get into it. Um, I was super excited to find this sweater. I have been hunting and hunting and hunting since last winter, actually, uh, for a long sweater. So, uh, I don't even know what to call it. I keep wanting to call it a duster, and that's like what a long jacket is called. So, I don't, I don't know what those long sweaters are called, and my fingernail keeps catching on it, and my nail just broke. Sorry, I'm trying to like fix it so it doesn't keep catching on the sweater. So anyway, um, I picked up this really long sweater and I'm trying to find the top of it. Here we go. Oof. It is this Simply Vera by Vera Wang. It is a silver metallic and it's got this, you're probably not going to be able to see it that well, but uh, it's got this nice collar on it and it ties in the front and there's actually a tie on the inside also so you can tie it on the inside to keep it nice and tight and it is pretty long so it probably goes I don't know I would say probably knee length on me I'm trying to remember uh, where it hit when I was in the store probably knee length and the sleeves were nice and long uh, the sleeves weren't too tight which is sometimes an issue I have with sweaters and it just was really really comfortable it it fit really well. It was $9.99, which is definitely top of what I typically spend for a sweater, and I usually don't even want to spend that much if I don't have a coupon, so um, where this is something that I've been searching for for so long and I knew I was going to use a coupon, I didn't mind spending that much. So, um, And there's almost no pilling on this. You know, There's a, a string here or there that I'll probably just trim off, but this is in really good shape. So. Can't wait to throw that in the wash. And then I got a couple miscellaneous items and then some books. I did, like I said, it was kind of a small trip, so let me show you the miscellaneous items. Now, one of these things I didn't buy for its original purpose, and I'll kind of explain that. So I got this vase or vase, whatever you want to call it, which is really tall and skinny. I have been looking for a way to store my watches, and I know there's um, those bracelet uh, storage things where it has like the two cylinders set up on a pedestal where you can store your bra bleh, bracelets or watches horizontally, and I just don't find that, that storage attractive. So I wanted to do something more in a vertical sense. It's definitely something I could have DIY'd. I know a lot. there are a lot of videos out there on how to make those uh, bracelet holders uh, in a DIY way. But I thought this would be really neat. Um, it's slim enough that I think a lot of my watches will fit on this. And then I thought I could put something on the inside too, whether I put fake flowers in it or I might just put like some sea glass or something in here. I just thought it would be uh, really neat to display and I'm kind of eyeballing here where I'm going to put it on one of my bureaus or on my um, tall standing jewelry box. 
and it was only 99 cents plus I got 10% off so even if this doesn't end up working which I'm pretty sure it will um, I didn't spend a fortune on it so it's not like a huge deal and it's a vase so I can use it for something regardless and then I did pick up another piece of glassware and these are the kind of things that I always look at at Savers um, I got this little I'm guessing this is considered some sort of dish but uh, this is something I like for jewelry I'm actually gonna put this on my bedside table which I've just now cleaned off and this is something that I can put my rings or earrings or anything that I've taken off at night um, or a watch because <laughs> I do um, take off my watches before bed um, I, I can't really sleep with jewelry on other than you know my necklaces and my rings that I wear all the time anything that's not um, sterling silver or gold um, anything that's a cheaper metal or like a leather watch band anything like that I have to take off at night or I'll actually get a rash from it my skin is super sensitive so something like this on my bedside table is great because instead of just putting it on my bedside table and then I end up with like this big pile and then things get lost which is what happened I just had to do like a huge jewelry organization last night um, this will help so um, I also got another little miscellaneous bag of sewing uh, I guess sewing notions is probably what you'd call it again and I picked this up mostly because I saw that there were some bobbins in there not that I don't have enough bobbins from the last bag or two that I bought but they're just you know what it's such an inexpensive way to pick them up this bag was a dollar forty nine and there are three things of bobbins in here um, these are two four packs of the Singer uh, style bobbins so I can use those with my Singer sewing machines and then this one let's see yeah these work with Singer and Brother sewing machines so I can probably use these with the Singer sewing machines I have and it might even work with the Brother sewing machine that I have as well um, I still need to see what size bobbins uh, that machine uses because I really need to learn how to use that machine because I haven't even used it yet and it's a really nice small uh, size machine so it would be really convenient for me to use you know if I was like either sitting on the floor to do a project or I could even bring it over and, and sew something on my bed it's so small so the other thing that was in here trying to get it out um, there were two zippers. One of them is a black zipper that someone had taken out of the package and put it back in so it's in here backwards. Just for my own sake here, I'm going to put it back in the package the right way so I can actually see it through the front. So there's a black, zap, bleh, black zipper and then a tan zipper. They're both the same size. And these zippers are pretty expensive if you buy them at the store. And then there's just this uh, trim tape, which I don't think I've ever used this stuff, but I've bought it before along with sewing stuff. I might just pass this on to my grandmother because she does a lot more sewing than I do and she might actually use this. And then it came with a spool of white thread, which is always something that everyone can use. When uh, thread is just like a no-name brand like this, I usually uh, just use it for hand sewing projects because I only use um, brand name like Coates and Clark, I think it's Dual Duty, which is like the main brand that you see in like um, craft stores and, and things like that. Um, that's the kind of thread that I use when I use it on my sewing machine. I'm getting really rambly. It's like, I don't know, four o'clock in the morning right now, so I, I've been cleaning my room like I said so I took a break from that um, hopefully I'm gonna go to sleep after I'm done filming this video the only thing I have left to show you is just the books that I bought so I did the buy four get one free as usual and I found some real gems this time the first book that I found um, I the name of this book caught my eye because it just sounded kind of funny it's called the life and adventures of Santa Claus and then I saw who wrote it and it's by Frank Baum the same author of uh, the Wizard of Oz series. So I figured I'd pick this up. Uh, it would be worth a read, at least once. So I'll check that book out. 
And I think they only charged me like the children's book price for that one. And then I found this book, which is from the 80s. So I thought, you know, this would be worth a read. It might end up just being funny more than anything uh, because of the time frame. It's called Femininity. And I'm surprised I got that, work, that word out <laughs> without stumbling. And then I can't even say the word word. So that's that book. And then... I found this book, which um, was written by the same author who wrote uh, I Am Legend and What Dreams May Come, which I have the book of I Am Legend. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, and I saw the movie. That was great, and What Dreams May Come was an awesome movie. So uh, this book is actually about the author's experience in World War II, so I'm interested to read this one as well. This one is called The Beardless Warriors. And then, I was super excited to pick this up. I think this is the last book by Chelsea Handler that I didn't have. Somehow I've managed to pick all of them up, either at Yard Sales or Savers or Salvation Army. Um, I had just picked up one, I think, last weekend at Salvation Army, so... I've been really lucky to find her books. Uh, this one is Are You There Vodka? It's Me Chelsea. So um, I'm excited to read that one too. And then um, because I had picked out four books, I went to go pick out a book that I had picked out and then said, oh no, because I didn't think I was going to get as many books as I did. So um, the ones that I was kind of iffy on, I had just kind of passed over. So I went back to, um, I think it was the biography section, to find the book. And when I went over there, another title caught my eye. And I was like, oh my gosh, how did I not notice this book the first time around? And it was this book. So I was super excited. I'm definitely going to read this pretty soon. Uh, I still have to get through a book that I have been reading forever. Uh, part of the reason it's taken me so long to read it is I genuinely was just not enjoying the book, and then I lost it uh, for a good, I don't know, two months. So I finally found the book. I've read a couple pages in it, and I really just need to get myself to finish reading the book so I can get it over with and start reading something else. So uh, I need to pick that book back up, finish reading it, I think that's going to be one of my goals this month is to finish reading that book and just move on to something else. So that is the end of this haul. Uh, it ended up being a lot longer than I thought it was because I am very rambly. So I apologize for that. Um, hopefully you guys stuck it out. And uh, I'm sure I'll be back again with another haul video. Uh, there are some sales coming up, so I might end up participating in those. Uh, I will try not to be uh, to misbehave too much now that I've gotten a lot of things in my room and my closet organized. I really don't want to ruin that by going out and buying a lot of stuff that I don't need. So um, I think I'm going to end it here. Hopefully I'm going to go back in my room and settle down and get some sleep. So thanks for watching and have a great night.